Hi, I'm Dr. Trevor Van Oostrom, one of the interventional pain physicians at Bloor Pain Specialists, and today we're going to be talking about common questions about pain medications. I've heard antidepressants can be used to treat pain, but I'm not depressed. How does that work? Good question. Um, to be honest, you know, there are probably 20-ish, around 20 opioid medications that we use for pain but there also are a couple of hundred medications that we can use for pain. For example, antidepressants are a group of medications that we tend to borrow from, uh, from neurologists or psych psychiatrists that we use for pain. Um, and we use it specifically for pain even if a patient does not have depression. And the way that medication works really is it's able to block pain signals at the spinal cord level. Um, I, the way I explain it to patients usually is if you, if you think of a, um, a soldier in battle and they get injured or shot on their leg, yet they're able to run so quickly, run quickly back to their, to their team, to their fort, and, and you wonder well, how are they able to do that? It's because they have this increased sympathetic response in their body. And that's similar to what the, the antidepressants are able to do in terms of bringing down pain. Antidepressants are sometimes used for pain, um, and, and we're actually not using it for its antidepressant effect per se. But what we're using it for is, is to change the way the nervous system functions, if you will. Um, there aren't many ways to do that, but antidepressants are certainly one of those ways. Through uh, a variety of neurotransmitter changes, um, it, can, it can alter the function of the nervous system. And uh, even at the level of the brain, it can change the way one processes pain, if you will. Uh, so it's not as severe. Now, antidepressants on their own have a stigma in the name. It says depress. And so a lot of people fear they have a sudden stop in their mind when they hear antidepressant. They're not willing to receive that information. And what I often tell my patients is that antidepressants should have been named something else. They should have been named after the way they work. They should have been named neurological enhancers because that's all they do. These medications help our nerves fire faster and stronger and so that they can communicate amongst each other more efficiently and you feel like you have more energy, you can do more, pain doesn't get in the way of your life. And this is why I think that class should have been called neurological enhancers. When you think about it that way, that stigma of antidepressant effect is no longer there. And the data to show that antidepressants can help with things like back pain is profound. The data is really supportive of using that type of medication. And there are a slew of options in that class. In fact, there are different classes that all do relatively similar things. Why? Because they are all neurological enhancing drugs in terms of function of our nervous system. And that's what, where antidepressants come in to help reset that central processing so that we can feel more normal. You also have seizure medications that we borrow uh, for pain specifically. And those also, they work different from antidepressants, but they're able to block certain gates in the pain signaling pathway, peripherally from like our toe or our fingers all the way along our spinal cord. Um, and they block those, those gates or channels and, and in doing so, they're able to bring down uh, or dampen the pain in a patient. Thank you for watching today's video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. For questions about your care, please contact our clinic directly.